This is the channel where we watch and learn from some of our favorite singers. My name is Liza Quinn. I'm so happy that you joined me today. I got a special request from one of my new patrons who goes under the name of Desk Jockey, which I love and has been so kind to me and so cool. I don't really talk about Patreon that much, but those of you who do go over there and look for me and find me, I appreciate you all so much. I love chatting with you and I love when you give me great recommendations like this. So Desk Jockey says that they are one of the few Filipinos who can't sing. <laughs> Not exactly in those words, but it was funny. And led me to Fourth Impact. They're performing Never Enough in this video, and I think this is a great introduction. So thank you, thank you, all of those honorary producers over there. And lastly, I have joined AskMe.com. You can find me as Liza Quinn. I will make sure to link that as well. And basically what that does is it allows me another platform where I can give you guys feedback and a little bit more personalized attention. So there's this great feature where you can upload media on Ask Me, and right on your phone, you can go ahead and if you click the link in my bio on IG, you can send me a short snippet bit of you singing something, you can send me some new music that you want some feedback on, and you get two extra feedback responses from me. That's just another avenue where we can find each other and I can provide some help, which is something that I absolutely love about that platform. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out Fourth Impact. Okay, growl. I'm more than halfway through at this point and I still haven't paused. Each one of them individually, absolutely beautiful tones. The approach is mm, just right for this song. When she's doing the that little hmm, right? Now you don't want to necessarily always rely on a breath push for every single line, but in this song it's used frequently because it's a great way to get that frontal placement. The N is fantastic because it's a sound that you're mm, you're right in the face so that it's not this big, heavy, kind of like ooh, oscillating sound. That gives her great control in. That way you see the little details and the things that maybe you could try that could help you if you go to cover this song or something like it. Okay, let's pick up here where they're about to all come in and I know this is about to get crazy never never for me. so clear Let's break down what's going on here because these parts are absolutely stunning. I love this arrangement and they're each doing such spectacular work in it. Towers of gold are still too little. 
Yes, these hands will. And then it's gonna climb up from there. She's fantastic. That is giving me like a Destiny's Child vibe. It was like something like that. I'm not even doing it right, but oh, stunning. Powerful. It's really hard to go from the nah, me, and then pull it back into that breathy tone right there and, and, and be all nicely blended. Whew, they are just fantastic. Let's see. Let's look them up real quick. They're sisters. <laughs> That's amazing. Filipino girl group composed of sisters. I love it. It is also important to notice the may. We have to be able to adjust vowels sometimes when they are not allowing a vocal tract shift that's needed. The song is a little bit more musical theater in its approach. And this is may for may. What a way to dominate from top to bottom very consistently. Thank you guys again. I hope to see you next time. Take care.